Susan Isaacs. Who is Susan Isaacs? Susan Isaacs was a British early years educationalist and psychologist in 1885 till 1948. She used her knowledge in philosophy and psychology to make a new approach to early childhood development and the play theories in the early years. Susan Isaacs was born on May 24, 1885 in England and passed away at the age of 63. Susan Isaacs went to the University of Manchester. Susan Isaacs theory. Susan Isaacs theory is that children's play was a form of self-expression that enabled them both to release their real feelings safely and rehearse ways of dealing with a range of emotions. The theory Susan Isaacs created was a child-centered and to further development children's development through play. It also emphasized the value of nursery settings, the importance of play, and the careful preparation of the learning environments along with having the supportive role of the educators. Susan Isaacs beliefs. She had a passionate belief in the place a nursery education in society has on a child's life and how important it is for a child's early life to be in a nursery education setting. She believes that all children, including infants, have a mental life that they can experience fear and rage from an early years of their life. She also believed that schools are intended to stimulate the active inquiry of the children themselves rather than teach them. The Malting House School. This school only ran for five years because it became bankrupt. Susan Isaacs was the first principal of the Melting House School. The school was ran on child center principal, opportunities for children to explore their environment, and the teachers would be there to answer questions, not to instruct the children. Once the school shut down, Susan Isaacs took her observations that she seen and got from the Malting House School and used them to make a book called Intellectual Growth in Children. This is the book that Susan Isaac wrote on her observations that she seen during her time at the Malting House School. Susan Isaac's view of children. She encourages practitioners to respect children's play as much as possible, to allow play to involve on the children's terms. She wanted and believed that children develop more when the child was free to lead during their play. Connection to the education today. Schools are familiar with Susan Isaac's theory by using the outdoor area more and using both inside and outside areas to promote learning. Allowing children to play can allow them to experience, learn, and develop more. Allowing children to be independent and in charge of their own play, allowing the teacher or educator to be led by children on what the child wants to play with instead of the teacher saying what the child should be playing with or how to be playing with it. Here are some of my references and there's the rest of my references.